Hi Pisces, welcome to this tarot love reading. Welcome to this community. My name's Sophia. So Pisces, what I was getting was, I was getting uh, avoidance. So, and I want to see why the, well, it's kind of, a, yeah, it's avoidance. And what I mean by that is keep doing different things to of so you're keeping yourself busy so you could be working i don't know if you know you're doing this or not so say you're working like a 10 hour shift then you go home and like you'll watch telly then if you can't sleep then you'll do some playstation or something like that or if you go out and you know it, it it's like avoiding what your what the issue is because there's heartbreak here there's a separation and there's heartbreak, but you're keeping yourself busy. So that's what I mean by avoidance. It's not literally your person's texting you and you're avoiding the text. It's a being busy to avoid it. So let's see what the cards say, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? okay yep there's a load of inner work that needs to be done and i feel this is for you pisces it doesn't matter if you're not pisces you're watching for your person i feel this is connected to you <laughs> so let's see so see the moon cards here <laughs> so it's you chariot it doesn't matter if the moon because the moon is pisces but this reading is to do with you chariot the fool and the moon card then i'll jump into these so the chariot to me is about the direction of what you push things in life and that could be at the chariot in a traditional ride awake has um he's on the the chariot and the two sphinxes are there now they're just sat there so even though the chariot is about the direction and it's about universe guiding you because the chariot's in the sky right but on the traditional one they, they just sat there so that's what i'm saying it's like you have to move it in the direction but it's like you're sat there waiting for your person to show up and guide you but you have to go you you are the one who controls your world so there's something here which i'm picking up which is about um unknowns because the full card is next to this this is about how I would pick this up and it's connected to you. It might be your person, but I feel this is more you, is you had no guidance in your upbringing. So when it comes to relationships or stuff like that, it's unknown what to do. So what you do is like you avoid it. So I, I'm not saying because if this is a twin flame uh, reading Pisces this is to do with not to do with you running because the you know they say the run and chase are, although that's you know that's not so much these days as the old way that was more last year and years before that but it's not to do with like when your person comes in then you run this is about avoidance like I said because you don't know how to deal with the unknown because the fool jumps into the unknown and you don't know that because you had no direction and obviously that direction of how you do things in life is from your upbringing now like i said this could be your person who is pisces or you could be pisces but this is more to do with um like i said what is hidden so the moon card is in the dark so i i i'm getting pulled to my once again childhood of in the dark you um you was kept in the dark as a child that's what i'm feeling with the moon card and you wasn't like directed with the chariot down any kind of path it was like just your child there you are i'll feed you 
you know, and that's it. You was just, you know, fed <laughs> as a child. There was no direction of what path to go with the two. Because the moon card is about choosing a path. There's this path here or down through the Twin Towers, right? But it's like you need the strength to heal. Because look, both these cards have the sun. It's the sun and the moon, right? The sun and the sun and the moon. The moon card has the sun and the moon, which is Leo. Which you might be connected with Leo, but we're all star signs. This is this is to do with, and like I said, I feel avoidance. And you see the crab in the moon card. What well, the crab does that? Skirts around the houses. It doesn't go straight down. Do you see what I mean? And deals with things. It goes around the houses. That's what I feel you do. Once again, I feel this is definitely connected with an upbringing. If it's not, it's your person, but I'm feeling it's you strongly. The chariot is about pushing it forward victoriously and dealing with your person's situation which you avoid head on. That's what I feel with this. And I feel there's other people, but I, I, I keep getting it's you that influence you easily because if you have no there's a um this reminds me of katie perry she has a song which is called raw right and she says something like let me see if i find it i found it she says i stood for nothing so I fell for everything. I just wanted to get the exact words because that's correct. And this is what happens when you have no guidance in life. Because you're not guided to. So if someone says something to you, you just, because she stood for nothing. She, that what she, this is her <laughs> reading as well. Not literally, but when you stand for nothing, no one tells you, listen, you're amazing. You're strong. You, you know, you can be independent. You can follow your bliss. You fall for everything. So someone comes along and say, listen, you should work as a cleaner. Oh, okay, I'll be a cleaner then. Oh, no, you shouldn't be a cleaner. You should come and work over it. Oh, right, I'll be, a, 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 you know, a cashier then. Oh, no, no, you should date this person. Oh, okay, or you shouldn't date that person. Do you see? This is what this is. You, if you don't stand for anything, you fall for everything. And so what you do is when your person comes victoriously towards you with, uh, a concept of how to follow through victoriously because you follow in easier options right instead of jumping into the unknown this is why you miss this but if you push this direction victoriously towards your person and um follow that but that takes inner work you need to it's like you're avoid like i said you keep avoiding it because you're not going within it's like you're I call it surface level. When I do an image reading with you, I go into the subconscious and I will be saying, was you neglected as a child? Did they ask you um, how you feel? What did you want to do? Did they see you Pisces as a Pisces? Unless you're obviously watching for your person and your different sign. But did they see, did they research the moon card Pisces and see what kind of character you are? That you'll probably be different to your brothers and sisters who are a different star sign. That's not Pisces. Do you see what I mean? This is what this reading is about. But you have to go inside. This is the healing work. You have to do. Get into the roots. Right? And that's where you understand why you're twin flame. Like workers, star seed, whatever label you want to put on it. If you're listening to me, I call in people who are here to change planet Earth. You are deaf, different and special. And there's something here that you're skirting around the houses and there's got to be a reason for it. But like I said, if you start with the inner work, you will find out why. It's like as if inside you have so much wisdom. But you just do things, what people tell you on the outside. There's something like that. You're not allowing it. It's like you're refusing to go in. That's what I feel. And that's the unknown, because you wasn't told to do that. You probably feel silly doing that. I feel you're opposite to most who sit cross-legged on the mountain. You probably wouldn't be happy doing that, right? But you have someone over here, your person, right, who you're leaving out in the dark, or they've left you out in the dark, or something like that, which is like um, 
of the shadow put that you behind, you know, you left you behind, or you've put them behind because the shadow's behind you, the Queen of Cups here. But she's a very nurturing, loving, grounded, all this kind of thing, right? Spiritual and stuff like that. Protects herself. See, she holds her hand over the cup of who she gives her love to. Not just anyone can come up to this person, right? This is the waxing moon. Look, she she uses this knowledge from the moon card. This is definitely your person. This is you. This is your person. There's the moon. Can you see the... Um, let me see if I get it up there. See, these are the moons. Waxing, crescent, and full moon, right? This is what she has, which is leads up to... The Queen of Cups is the step, the next one up is the High Priestess. That's why I said to put the crown here on the Queen of Cups, because that's what the next step, is, step up. So she goes into your person, he, he, she, she, the matter, right, that uses their intuition, very nurturing, very loving, and she uses that planets of the moon, right, to guide her. But like I said, with you, and flip it, right, if it chooses, but I feel this is you, you just go with what people say, and you get hurt, the three of swords is you get hurt from others, but you keep doing it, because you're not going in, she is teaching you how to do it, or your person, Pisces, is teaching you how to do it, but you are refusing to go in, so it's about you changing your direction, and jumping into this unknown, that your person is teaching you, then you will be victorious. If not, you will always be left in the dark. So it's up to you. Do you want to go push this forward victoriously? But that is about jumping into the unknown. If you don't know how to do that, you're welcome to book me for reading or uh, get some counselling or something like that. Check out my website. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Speak to you later.